New at 11, today members of the community took part in a 60-mile journey to show their respect for veterans while also funding organizations who serve those who risked it all. CBS 47's Rhett Rodriguez has more. It was a day of smiling faces and revving engines at the fourth annual Combat Veterans Motorcycle Run. More than a dozen motorcycle groups participated. Some came from across the country. In total, 500 bikes parked outside the Clawson Motorsports Center in support. Organizers say it's the least they can do. To do is, is bring as many people together. We also like to uh, bring booths here, different veteran organizations for veterans when they come here, they can possibly get some uh, education, get some uh, phone numbers or, or something like that that they can take home. This year the event raised money for three organizations, the VA, REITs Across America, and a local chapter of the Combat Veterans Motorcycle Club. Part of the proceeds from the run will help the organizations fund programs to assist Valley veterans. These funds will provide veterans with basic needs like clothes and will also help pay for the wreaths put on the graves of 4,000 veteran headstones in the Clovis Cemetery. General Manager of Clawson Motorsports Mike Stovall says he looks forward to the ride every year. I love being able to see the looks on the guys' faces when they're shown respect, uh, they're shown a thankfulness. Many who participated in the ride didn't serve but have a massive respect for those who made the ultimate sacrifice. My father was a, a Navy vet and he served uh, in the Korean War. Touching to see that uh, America, even the writers, are still uh, young and alive. There's young and old that are here that are represented uh, throughout the motorcycling community of the Central Valley, so that's very encouraging. Ceremony full of prayers, salutes, songs, and speeches, it was time to lift the kickstands and take to the streets. In Fresno, Rhett Rodriguez, News.